How many of you are excited to hear from our president, Donald J. Trump? Oh, I think, I think we can do a little better than that. How many of you are excited to hear from our president? Well, I'm excited, too. I'm excited because under his leadership, with the support of Cindy Hyde Smith and the rest of our Republican delegation, good things are happening in America. Last year, the Congress passed the largest overhaul of taxes since Ronald Reagan was president, putting more money in Mississippians' pockets. On the international stage, we're respected again because we've got a president who understands you don't deal with a bully by bowing and scraping. You deal with a bully by letting them know there will be consequences. <laughs> Taxes are down, unemployment is down, and the wall is going up. To borrow a phrase from the president, we're winning, and I'm not tired of it yet, are you? But if we're going to keep on winning, we've got to send the president allies in Washington. He needs an ally like Cindy Hyde Smith. Senator Hyde Smith has the unique distinction of having a 100% pro-Donald Trump voting record. The choice in this race could not be more clear. The Democratic nominee is so liberal that he supported an abortion-on-demand bill when he was a member of Congress. Cindy Hyde Smith is going to work with our president to make America the safest place in the world to be an unborn child. The Democratic nominee is so liberal, he's never seen a tax he didn't want to increase, even though he can't be bothered to pay his own on time. Cindy Hyde Smith is going to work with our president to make our tax system the best in the world so our economy can keep on growing. The Democratic nominee is so liberal that he would have voted against Brett Kavanaugh, and he will work with Chuck Schumer to make sure good conservative judges aren't confirmed. Cindy Hyde Smith, our nominee, when some Republicans were falling for the delay and destroy tactics with Brett Kavanaugh, Cindy was the first woman on the floor of the Senate calling for Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation. The, the Democratic nominee was too corrupt for Bill and Hillary Clinton. Now, think about that for a second. He was too corrupt for Bill and Hillary Clinton. That'd be like me telling somebody they were too fat. <laughs> he was forced to resign for taking inappropriate gifts, and he was indicted several years later for that unethical conduct. Friends, we've got a clear choice, and we've got work to do. We cannot allow someone who was too corrupt for the Clintons and who's too liberal for Mississippi to go to Washington. But we're seeing something, we're seeing it now, and we're going to see it tomorrow that we hadn't seen before, a wave of out-of-state money and liberal activists who are coming down here thinking they can steal this seat like they did in Alabama and turn it over to Chuck Schumer. I don't plan to let them. When that so-called blue wave comes to Mississippi, I expect it to be met with a red wall that you and I are going to build together. And here's how we're going to do it. Tomorrow, we're going to go vote. But we're going to do more than that. We're going to call 
and text everyone we know who thinks like us and remind them that tomorrow they've got to go vote. We're going to get on Facebook and we're going to get on Twitter and we're going to get on every social media we use and we are going to tell people no matter who you voted for on November 6th, you need to vote tomorrow for Cindy Hyde Smith. that tomorrow when the votes are tallied, we'll be able to go to the president and go to the rest of the country and said, we did our part. We sent another conservative warrior to Washington. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what we're going to do tomorrow. And let's go make America great again. It is now my great pleasure to introduce your state senator, Joel Carter.